chorus, I would call it really a sonata. It's a much more meditative. It's a very quiet, very intimate, and a really melodic environment. Well, the inspiration for chorals at Capitol Bay is twofold. First of all, it's a historical site. It's the King's Dock. It's an incredible part of history. Combined with the notion that this is a place for living, for a family, for a person to enjoy the beauty of the water, of the sky, and of the natural spaces. We have lower buildings between five and 10 stories high. It's in a necklace of kind of jewelry that allows every building, no matter where it is located and wherever level you're living, to have a view of the water, to have the view of the sky. It's really about really reinforcing the specific beauty, and it is specific, uh, of corals. The inspiration is not just one time, it's every day of your life. It's really a celebration of every day. Well, the challenges to overcome in designing corals, first of all, there are strict regulations, of the height of buildings, about adjacency of buildings. So the challenge is how to create a mega social space, a beautiful garden. Singapore is in this tropical zone. It has pretty constant temperatures. There's a lot of sunlight, there's rain, there's humidity. You have to be able to design a building that creates shadows, that reduces the temperature in a building. You have to make a building that opens itself to the spectacular views at the waters of Capel Bay, at the beautiful waterfront. Well, sustainability is a fundamental dimension of architecture. Sustainability is not merely technology, but it's how you site a building, how well built are the materials, the light and the natural environment. So all these elements, together with the technology, are part of creating really a sustainable building with low energy consumption. If I were to describe what I do in three words, there would be number one, that the designs are based on the human being, not just functioning, but on the human soul. Second principle would be that each project I design is unique for the site. It's site-specific and genius loci based. And the third one I would say is that offers freedom and liberty for new possibilities of living, for new possibilities of seeing the world.